Hey, I'm back for episode four of Greenleaf on All Network. And yes, it does come on Wednesday nights at 10 p.m. So check it out. So this episode, it opens up with um, the pastor or the bishop finding out that because they didn't make it to the dinner with the senator, um, they are being audited. The church is being audited. And um, someone from the mayor's office is coming to the church and they're um, asking the bishop to, since he has, um, um, Officer Nelson is a member of his church, to support Officer Nelson and to support the other officers in the police or in the city of the um in the city of Memphis in the police department and the mayor basically is asking him to do that and I think it's called something um something in blue or something like that I can't remember I have to look it up here on my phone but anyway so he wants them to stand behind the police officers and officer Nelson and take a stance because the other mega church in the city um, with Bishop Skanks. Where did he get that name from? He, anyway, he is backing the mother of the killed child or teenager that um, was murdered, gunned down by Officer Nelson and the police department. And um, the bishop is basically like, this is really like politics. You know, he tells the man, um, the lady wasn't even a member of the church. Um, she joined the church. She joined Bishop Skank's church um, after, you know, her child was killed. They went over there, you know, and basically, um, you know, basically, you know, told her, you know, you know, we're so sorry, blah, 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 blah. You know, we're, we'll, you know, back you and everything like that. But, you know, I don't think nothing is wrong with doing that um, to a victim and going to their house or whatever. What are you doing? Sit down. So anyway, um, so, but the part of, you know, I think it was just like a, just type of playing chess. They're like doing chess moves. So because this church did this with the mother, they're basically telling him, you know, come over here and back the police officer up. Because you basically haven't taken a stance. You're just in the middle. And you haven't said whether it's this way or whether it's that way. Or how do you feel? So you need to let us know if it's black or white. So um, he says, and the gentleman from the mayor's office says something to the fact that we know that there's a property over here next to the church and the property that you own now that um, you were previously denied by the city, you know, to build a swimming pool and community center. You know, we could possibly, you know, hook you up. We could possibly help you out with that. And I think the bishop also mentioned something about, um, you know, we got Senator Banks or whoever it is that's trying to audit me and blah, blah, this. Can you get him off my back? I don't have time for all this riffraff with him. So he was like, we can handle him, the senator, and we can hook you up with your swimming pool and community center. So he's like, yeah, 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 okay. And once he heard the man say that, all I could think of um, was, I'm a hustler, baby. I was just like, Bishop, come on now. Stand for something that's right. Because I was just like, once the man mentioned that, I was just like, he was just too, he was just too happy. Anyway, so he calls Gigi and tell her, you know, Gigi, tell, you know, talk, um, get in touch with that officer and, you know, tell him I want to meet with him. And see if you can meet with him today. She was like, what, Daddy? What? You sure? Yeah, yeah. So they meet and they um, have a conversation and things like that. And so he asked, you know, Officer Nelson, you know, um, you know, what's, you know, what's, you know, what's the tea? Basically, what happened? And so, you know, Officer Nelson tells him, you know, I really can't say. My lawyer tells me I can't say anything to you. And everybody knows that there's um, confidentiality um, with your lawyer and things like that. And there are, um, loopholes when it comes to attorney client privilege. And when it comes to your priest or pastor, I forgot what the legal term is or the 
actual term is called. But um, you can you can confess or say whatever to um, a clergy, a member of the clergy, which is supposedly his pastor and bishop, and he can't relay that in a court of law. So he tells he still tells the bishop, you know, I can't say anything in this and the other, but um, it was one of the worst days in my life. He says something to the effect of to the to that effect, and it was even worse for the young man that you know passed away. And so I was like, okay, you know, that kind of made. I mean, you know, it's like why you can't just tell what happened, but then you know, like when he tells that, and he's like, you know, it was worse for the young man and blah blah this or whatever. You kind of like. You like lukewarm, you know, he puts you in the middle like, did he do it purposely or, you know, is he just trying to save face? So, I don't know. Anyway, so, um, anyway, I'm just going, jumping all off or whatever. But, um, so, so the bishop, you know, he kind of, he's kind of okay with his story that Officer Nelson tells or whatever. And then, um. Here, the officer Nelson, um, you know, they shake hands and things like that and they leave. And then he tells Grace, you know, nice meeting you too, like it was a brand new. But you know, when you anyway, so the daddy peeps Bishop, he peeps the fact that y'all know y'all met before, I know y'all been talking or whatever. So, um, you know, um, he goes out and the daughter is there with the dad, and then she ends up in the chapel with um, officer Nelson, and then, um, Noah comes in because he finds some information out and that's a whole nother story but um Noah comes in and um he sees her and officer Nelson in the chapel and so he stops at the back of the chapel and he you know kind of like walks in but walks you know peeps the scene and then he like oh what's going on here and then he walks out and um and she's just they're talking to him and he's asking her, you know, have you ever really done anything this horrific and this bad and blah, blah, this. And she's like, yeah, I have. I've done, you know, some things this bad or whatever. And so, um, you know, they chit chatting and stuff like that. So I'm going to jump around and leave that story alone for a minute and go on to um, this other story that Noah was trying to tell her about. In the meanwhile, you know, Grace is still doing her Angela Lansbury thing, you know, her Inspector Gadget thing. Um, she investigating what's going on with her sister, Faith, that um, passed away and what was really going on. And um, that's what Noah was trying to tell her that, you know, somebody was circling around and this, that, and the other. You know, she was asking Noah, can you check in to my uncle around this time and blah, blah, blah. This. So she tells him about the girl and all the suspicion and what the girl had told her about these specific dates when she said the uncle had molested the little girl. So he goes to find out and that's when he was going to go into the chapel to tell her about it, but he ends up telling her anyway. And um, he says, you know, we, we checked the video and... You know, he was here at this day, but he had every right to be here at this day because he works here. And he had good reason to be here because he was doing blah, 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 whatever. And um, there was, he was in the car, but I didn't know who was in the car with him. Um, what else did he say? Uh, but, but also, there's been this car that's been circling the premises or whatever, the front of the gate. But they don't ever do anything. So I think the second or third time they come by, they drop this flash drive or whatever. So he gives her the flash drive. I think he had checked it out already. So he gives the flash drive to Gigi. And, excuse me, it's a faith. Well, they have all these like racy and seedy um pictures of faith in all kind of positions with this guy um looks like in a hotel hoes do tell um in the motel six or something like that in the super eight and you know she's doing all these poses she's not having sex but they're like um she's posing in like these different sexual positions and it could be like it doesn't look like it looks like they have a camera set up or, or somebody is in another room, maybe taking a picture of them. But it looks like it's, it's a camera set up and they're taking pictures. Um, so, yeah. So, they find this. And then, um, I think it was a note or something like that with this. So, she calls the guy. And the guy like, yeah, bitch. Um, give me $5,000 and 
or I'm going to show these pictures to everybody, whatever. Girl, I was like, who is this? Anyway, so she like, well, yeah, I'm not going to give you $5,000, but I'll, you know, or either she says, I'll meet you or whatever. I'll give you the money, but I'll meet you or whatever. So her and Noah, she go and she tell Noah, she, so she bring her back up. And she says, I'll meet you in the woods by whatever, whatever. So she goes and meets this guy. Why he come out the woods looking like Samuel Jackson on Jungle Fever? I'll do it. You know I'll do it. Girl, I was like, where did you get this crackhead from? Anyway, so I was like, <laughs> girl, I was like, are you serious? So then um, he was like, I don't know what that fool said, but all I could think about was he was saying, he called her a bitch again and said, you know, bitch, where my money or something like that. I was just like, this fool is really tripping. So, um, she had said, I'm not giving you $5,000, but I got $500 for you or whatever. And so she's questioning him about her sister and what was going on with her sister and then this, that, and the other. And she was like, um, why do you think my sister... You know, killed herself and this that, and other. He was like, basically, he was just saying like she didn't have no soul. When you looked into her eyes, you couldn't see nothing. You know, and that's like, that's sad. That's that's like, and then you know, Gigi was just upset when he said that because she was like, I could see. I can see something in her. That's my sister. Of course, it's your sister, and hopefully, you can always see something in your siblings or whatever. But, um, yeah, she took it to heart. But, girl, I was like, Gigi, Noah, jack him up. I was like, this is a crackhead. I'm like, he coming out the woods, jack that joker up. And then how many times he going to call you a bitch? And he talking about some, I'm going to give that joker $5. Come on, some $5,000. What are you going to do with it? Girl, I was, I was too upset about that. Anyway, so, Lord have mercy. I was just all upset about that. But um, this makes me go to a whole nother thing. So, um, <laughs> I'm going all over the place because my mind is thinking about other things in the show. So then, um, she gives him the $500, but she asks him, are there other pictures about this? Was Gigi, um, you know, Gigi didn't, I mean, not Gigi, was Faith, you know, were you trying to get money from Faith and this, that, and that? Faith ain't had no money. Faith was basically, you know, just selling herself and she was on drugs herself it sounded like it sounded like she was just an empty soul or trying uh, just a lost soul really because I don't think nobody is empty but um yeah it was just a sad situation just to see that but um then let me just go over here because my mind going all over the place now that I'm I done got upset okay so they have this move they have this movement this protest for the little boy that died not a vigil uh, but a protest. Um, and it's almost like the Black Lives Movement or whatever. Stuff like that. Um, which is fine. Well, the little girl, um, Sophia, Sophia, wants to go. And so she, her little friend at school, gave her a flyer. And she like, oh, mom, I want to go to this or whatever. You know how we young and dumb and we be telling our mother all our business or whatever. And we be like, oh, mom, I want to go to this and blah, blah, this. I want to fight the power and blah, blah, this or whatever. And she was like, her mother was like, no, boo, you're not going to go to that. That's not a vigil. That's not safe. And people be, people be arguing and they're going to go up against the police and blah, blah, this or whatever. And so she was like, you don't even know if that man is, you know, what the whole story is and blah, blah, blah this or whatever. And she, you know, um, Sophia's like, what? like looking at her mama like, girl, what? So Sophia gets mad at her mother because she told her, no, she, you cannot go to the protest. So she like, well, what it, well, anyway, whatever. And by the way, close anyway well whatever close and um, close my door bitch where are they doing that at well not where they doing that at I want to know because kids will try anything I wanted to know where are, where are the parents that close the doors when the children tell you to close my door Because Gigi dumb a... I just said Gigi have to be adopted. She cannot be Lady May's daughter. 
Okay. She cannot be Lady not Lady May. Y'all seen Lady May on the first one, two, three episodes? Did you check? Did you check Lady May? Gigi is not Lady May's biological daughter. Because, honey, I know Lady May would have came all up in through here. And I would have took the hinges off that door and said, try it on me, boo. Try me. You don't, you don't have no door up in this house. Girl, I was like, close what door? Girl. You go near, you go on that street and I'm going to beat you down. Anyway, okay. Anyway, so Gigi, she says, oh, okay, Sophia, I'm going to close the door. I'm sorry that you can't go. So she closes the door. And then, um, you know, of course, Gigi and Zora, they get together because Zora um, tells Gigi, she gave her that good old Bible scripture and she tells her, honey, you better bash mister and think about having later. I don't know what she said, but I'm just saying. <laughs> she told her, <laughs> you can ask for forgiveness later. You know, it's better to go on and do what you got to do. But I'm like, girl, if you did, you don't have you don't have an opportunity to ask for forgiveness later. These little heifers. Oh, I was like, Lord, let me just get to them. But anyway, I'm like, that's why they these parents need their butt whoop. I'm mad at the kids. I'm mad at the parents. Okay, anyway, so they go to the little vigil. They done snuck off and go to, not the vigil, but the um, protest. And um, and the bishop rolls by or whatever, and he gets in the crowd. Of course, he see, he spots his people. It's something how you can just spot your people in the crowd. He spots his little offspring, and he like, do y'all parents know y'all here? And so uh, they like, no. And they bat their eyes at their grandpa. And they, he like, come on, let's go. I thought he was going to get the little boy and tell him to go. He like, about me, mug, and tell him whatever. And kept on going. So um, they get home and he do a little nice little grandpa talk with them, which was I thought was sweet or whatever. Um, and girl, grandparents say something else. They, them grandkids can get their grandparents, can't they? But anyway, let's move on. So um, the other story is um, with... Um, Jacob and Carissa, they're going to marital counseling and um, Carissa in there running her mouth, trying to run Jacob. Yeah, Jacob. Yeah, Jacob cheated. Yeah, Jacob do this, Jacob do that, blah, 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 this or whatever, blah, 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 this or whatever. After the two set, after each session, you see Jacob up in the, um, up in the arms of his side piece. He needs some other, some other type of therapy, girl. Where are they doing this at? Jacob can't talk in therapy. But he going to do some body language talking. I can tell I body language. Yeah, that's what he doing. But anyway, um, yeah. So he goes into the arms of his um side piece. And he's telling his side piece after the second time, I think. And he's like, um... You know, like basically he's saying he feel like a piece of meat and all this other stuff. And he was like, you know, you know, I could if I could leave her, I would and blah, 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 this and I could be with you. And so she tells him the side piece of saying, you know, I'm just here. I'm just having a good time. You know, I'm just here to have fun, boo, because it is what it is. I know you're not leaving your wife, so it is what it is. So he gets offended with it. Be an honest hoe. Take it. Have some thick skin, Jacob. What did you want her to say? Oh, Jacob, leave Carissa. Ain't no anyway, Jacob, either you want you to have a hoe that you got in check, or either you want a hoe that's buck wild and just trying to be the first lady, okay? I don't understand that. Great. Express your feelings. That's great. But be that way across the board, okay? I don't have a problem with that. But don't get mad. When the side piece telling you, yeah, I see you as a piece of meat, boo. Or she, I'm just trying to keep my emotions in check, boo. So we're just playing here. Anyway, so, yeah, so he was all upset about that. I was just like, whatever, Jacob, I ain't got time for all that. Because if you want to hold around, that's the way the game roll. So, anyway. So, but anyway, so he tells, so Carissa tells him, well, we don't even got to go to, uh, we don't even have to go to, um, counseling anymore he like no nah, we gonna go we gonna keep going because I, I i think jacob really liked the fact that somebody is controlling carissa 
outside of himself. Because he, he ain't got enough balls to control Carissa. Well, I think he do. But he just don't do it right. He just ain't stepping up to the plate to do it. And maybe he just don't want to do it. I don't know. But, um, yeah. So, anyway. So, that is the fourth episode um stay tuned to the fifth episode but it's good i think i'm missing something so forgive me because i'm all over the place with because it's like three different stories or four different stories so i have to throw the kids in there and they stuff but let's see i got the church i got jacob and his wife and then i got the faith story and with the uncle and everything all right until next time hopefully i'll see you soon be blessed bye